What's up guys? What's up guys? Primetime here, back with a new video. Um, it's been a while since I shot a video and I decided to shoot a video today. If you guys see, I have my Christmas tree up. We actually just put it up yesterday, um, which I feel is not early. Um, everybody should. That's That right there are the decorations. So look how small they are. That's pretty cool, huh? So I have the light on because I didn't feel like shooting my video at my desk. Uh, speaking of my desk, I will be getting a new one. My girlfriend promised me she's going to... Well, she didn't promise me, but she told me that she's going to get a new desktop uh, desk. Because the one that I'm using... If you guys see it, it's pretty raggedy now. And there's my son playing on the iPad. So, uh, today's videos. Um, these have been accumulated over the past month, I would say. Uh, stuff from Goodwill, um, GameStop... And I think that's it. Goodwill on GameStop. And a lot of pre-orders that I... Pro uh, and I have some from eBay. So, forgot about that. So, the first game that I got from GameStop is... On the buy two, get one. That's coming up blurry. On the buy two, get one uh, sale on... That GameStop gives you when you re redo your... Um, your power up. I finally did that after like two, three years because I've been doing a lot of deals at games. So I was like, why the fuck not? And I also have like six years of Gamer Club Unlocked that I paid like five, six dollars for. There was a real good deal and I took advantage of it. And now I have that. And Gamer Club Unlocked is way better than GameStop because you get 20% off new and pre owned games, including the Disney Infinity figures, uh, discs, packs, everything, even the stuff on Black Friday. So I might be hitting up Best Buy on Black Friday. You guys know I do Black Friday every year, but last year I did it differently. I'm thinking about camping out on a day on Black Friday to go in to get the um the deals and I don't know yet. I've been thinking about it. So sec infamous second son limited edition. If you guys know, I actually already have infamous second son um collector's edition, but I don't have the disc. So I paid I think 30 Something it was all GameStop credit, so I'm I'm really not mad about it because I didn't pay nothing out of pocket. Um, and if you guys watch my later videos, you know what I'm talking about. So I got this one, and I'll bring up the other ones that I got through that buy two get one free. Oops. Also from eBay, I got Mega Man powered up and Me Mega Man Maverick Hunter dual pack from. Supposedly this is real rare, and this is the one for um. The PSP, I think it's only for PSP, and this comes with both discs. Um, it didn't come with the manual, which I thought it did at first, but I wasn't going to bitch about it. The other uh, UMD is inside the PSP, which my PSP, of course, needs to be fixed, and I'm probably going to have to open it pretty soon, um, because the analog stick is, like, finicky, and it goes, like, to the left, even when I'm not holding to the left, so it kind of sucks right now. Um, also, I got... Try not to drop these games. Also, I picked up on that buy two get one. No, this was at the same time, but not on the same um, uh, time. So it wasn't part of the buy two. I paid three dollars for the last Rebellion for the PlayStation Three. I never heard of it. It's from Ness America. Um, they've made some real good quality games. So I was like, yeah, let me check this out. So I picked it up. Um, also at Goodwill, I found a couple games. I found Metalhead for the 32X. I don't own a 32X, so this will probably be up for trade in the far along future. Um, the Puppy, uh, Nintendo DS game for $2.97, Puppy Love, Spa, and Resort, you know, why not? Includes puppies and kittens. I actually got this for my son. There were some other ones, but I didn't feel like paying $2.97 for it. We have Toy Shop uh, for the Nintendo DS. I paid $2.97. Uh, at GameStop, on that buy two, get one free uh, deal, this is the other game I picked up, The Hobbit. And I've been wanting to get this one for a while, and this is the PlayStation 4 version, and it looks fantastic. Um, yes, I did pay $34.19 out of credit for this. This is a great game, so I got basically, I think, this one free. Um, there was some others. Is that my finger in front of the camera? Yeah. So here we have, at Goodwill, I also picked up a movie that I was talking to my girlfriend about that I've been wanting to watch that I've never seen. Uh, come on, focus. 
and that's Slum Slumdog Millionaire for uh D this is the DVD. Um, also, can you pick that up for me, son? Also picked up uh the Lego Movie video game. This was was with the buy two, so I got Lego Movie, The Hobbit, and Infamous Second Son. So my flash turned off. Shh. Um, also, I picked up. Uh, the Sims 3, I actually got this for free off, off Lestia. Uh, my, my girlfriend and son been into The Sims, so I decided to buy it. And since The Sims 4 has not been released for, um, for any of the next-gen consoles yet, uh, I decided to pick it up. Also, a game that I haven't even opened yet that I got this past week that I've had on pre-order for the longest. And this is back when I was used to being like a mother to get GameStop credit. And it was The Wolf Among Us. Um, this is a PlayStation 4 version. It's still sealed, as you see. And I might take it back because it's going to be on sale on Black Friday for, I believe, 15 bucks. Um, if so, I might take it back. I don't know yet. Um, I also picked up... Shiren the Wanderer for $2.69 at GameStop, which is actually a pretty rare Wii game now. Um, I, I know that I spoke to, uh, I believe, uh, Sega of My House. was a pretty good, cool dude from over there in Australia. Um, they, if he's looking for a copy, I do have one, but I don't know if it has the cover. Um, I also picked up Lick Glacier 2, Glacier 2 for the Wii. It's like a shooting game, like full auto. Um, a game for the 360, I believe, in PS3, that where you shoot, kind of like Twisted Metal, but more linear. Uh, here we have PlayStation All Stars Battle Royal for the PS Vita. Now I have the PS3 version, and I saw that at games uh, at Best Buy for 9.99, and I had a five dollar um, Best Buy reward on top of my Gamer Club unlocked. I paid like three bucks for this, so it was a good deal. Um, another game I picked up, I got The Hobbit there, Last Rebellion, Mega Man, hold on guys, okay another game I picked up is Tales of Heart. Are. Now, I cannot believe that nobody else picked this up on launch date like I did. I had this pre-order since I heard about it. Um, I'm a great fan of the Tales of Hearts art, Tales of Hearts game since I've heard about them. And I'm very interested in actually Final Fantasy 15 that's coming out. It used to be Final Fantasy Versus for the PS4. That game looks like it's phenomenal and it's going to be next gen. Like, let's hope that the frames per second are not like shit. I hope I have the one game that I'm going to complain about here in a second. And I do not see it. Um, so, I don't know if I'll be able to have my son grab it for me right quick. I'll probably get up and grab it. Pick this up off the floor. Please. So, here we have Tales of Heart R, which is a great game. Which is a great game. Um, I've seen many reviews about it. I haven't played it myself. I got some DLC codes for launch date for pre-ordering. Um, I paid GameStop credit for that a long time ago. Then I also picked up, again, another copy of Shiren the War Wanderer. Come on. Zoom in. Okay, there we go. And the same price of, uh, I paid for the other one. And this one does not have a manual or the front. Um, so I don't know if he's ever interested in this. Um, another game I've been playing for the Vita. I haven't played in a while because I've been playing um, The Binding of Isaac, which is a great game. I actually never liked it before, but I guess my gaming skills are getting up there because I'm pretty beast at that game. I've unlocked every character except two that I just found out about. Uh, Freedom Wars for the PlayStation Vita. And if you do own a Vita and you do not own this game, you're truly missing out. I would put it up there with the Monster Hunter games. Um, come on, man. It is not auto-focusing. Let's see if it does now. There we go. I had to click on something on my phone. So, Freedom Wars for the PlayStation Vita. This is a great game, guys. Um, I would highly recommend it. I put, I think, about 15 hours into it, and I got pretty far. I did a lot of crafting and stuff like that. It's like, I would say it's more like Soul Sacrifice, but better. Um, so, I just hope they come out with another version of it. Another game I picked up for the PS4 is The Walking Dead Season 2. I have not played it yet. Um, I still need to pick up The Walking Dead uh, 
complete edition because I haven't bought it or played it. But hopefully I can pick that one up for 15, 10 bucks. Um, the Walking Dead is good. I never saw this one, but from spoilers that people said online, she did not die like I thought she would, which is kind of stupid. You're trying to drag on. I would have preferred a new character for season three, but you know they want to bring Clementine back for all those fanboys who love Clementine. I actually like Lee better, and I'm kind of sad that he. He went out the way he did on season one. Um, spoiler there. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to tell you how he died, though. Uh, at the Goodwill, I picked up Nerf and Strike, and I think I paid $1.97 for this. Uh, actually, two ninety seven, And it's like a shooting gallery of the Wii games, and me and my son and my girlfriend have been playing those more often. So, uh, Martian Panic. Uh, it's kind of like a shooting gallery thing, the same thing. Another Wii game, Obscure. The Aftermath, it's like a horror game. I think I got that one at GameStop. It was two bucks. Uh, here we have two more games that I'm going to get up and show you guys uh, the game that I have to bitch about. And here we have Battalion Wars 2, which is another rare game to get um, from GameStop. These are hard to, Some of these are hard to find Wii games, and I had to ask for them just like last time to send them from other stores. Uh, and Sam Samba de Amigo, which was on the Dreamcast, I believe, and you had the Maracas on there. I don't know if it was the Dreamcast or the GameCube, but I know there's like another version. And that game, I actually have always wanted to play, so I decided to get it for the Wii. And you know... Um, being Hispanic, uh, Samba the Amigo should work nicely with, you know, I should be pretty good at it. So those are all the games I got, and now I'm getting up to show you guys what I have to bitch about. So, uh, excuse my French, guys. I know I cuss a lot. So here's my, my gaming shelf. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I don't know if I could turn... I'm gonna probably have to uh have to get in the light for this one. So I'm right now looking at my shelf looking for that said game. Um Oh here it is. I don't even know why it's up there with the Wii games. But Assassin's Creed Unity for the PlayStation 4. I've had this pre-ordered since forever. I played GameStop credit for it. It says limited edition. I guess because of those codes I got, but I cannot be so pissed off at a game that I thought was going to be fantastic. It is fantastic, but the frames per second, it is so bad. I, I think it drops to like five frames per second um, at some points when I was climbing this building. The glitches, I've seen many of them through the cutscenes and when I'm playing. And then I was like, oh my fucking God, this game. I expected so much of it. And to, to get what I got, I was very disappointed. Now, speaking of, I did play um, Assassin's Creed... I did play Assassin play Assassin's Creed Rogue cuz I downloaded I um rented it from I rented it from Redbox and tell me why the PS4 version is complete crap. Assassin's Creed Rogue is everything that Black Flag was but better. And for people to sit here and say, "Oh, the last gen version is probably going to be shit. Let me tell you what. Assassin's Creed Rogue, right now at the stands, before they release the patch for Unity, is actually better than Unity because at least it's playable. It gives us things that we loved about the first uh, Assassin, the last Assassin's Creed, which was Black Flag, and was fantastic. I had 100% I, the PS4 version, and I rented it from Redbox, and I think I put two, two three hours in it, and I probably six and I had to return it and I was just touching the surface they added so much shit unity you have to play with the app to to unlock certain chests which don't even get me fucking started on that I'm kind of pissed about um so thanks for watching my video and uh see you guys next time